Good morning. My name is Rebel and I am the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing the second half of my Watts Solds, which would be for last weekend, January 6th through the 8th. Still got this thing going. It's, I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I'm still, every day I get up and I have some new symptom. So, but I, I'm feeling 100% better. Just not quite there though yet. And today's my birthday. So, Robert woke up and asked me where I wanted to eat for breakfast. And at first I was like, blah, I don't feel like going out. But we decided to go to um, the Waffle House. I love waffles. So it was a nice little treat to get out and get some breakfast. This is the first time I've been out since I got went to the urgent care last weekend. So it was a good morning. But now I've got to get a little work done. I'm going to be on the Nurse Flipper Show on Tuesday with the Upstate Scavenger is the other guest. Um, we met him at the Prison to Profit convention in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, Robert sat and talked to him for a long time. His name is Robert also. Um, but he's going to be on there also. So it should be fun. Hopefully I'll have less of this going on. But, uh, you know, the last time I was on the Nurse Flipper show was the night before Robert's surgery. And we hadn't told anybody, nobody, that that was happening the next day. So, you know, it's kind of was a fog being on there. But it's going to be fun. I got to speak with um, Kat at the Prison to Profit also. So it's going to be fun getting back on there and chatting and may hopefully sharing some knowledge, especially on Plush. <laughs> Let's get to it. I had sales on all the platforms. My biggest sale this week, not on eBay. We'll start with Mercari. I talk about cross-listing to Mercari a lot. Um, but usually I'll say... I list a lot of my low dollar plush and stuff on there, but I do list some of my higher dollar stuff also. And I had three really good sales on there this time to share. This is Commonwealth pink and white dog plush, larger plush, 18 inches, um, sold for $30. All right, and then these, this is Ty. Great Wolf Lodge, Iris and Slush Husky Lot. I think the purple one is the one that actually made this a, lot, a better lot. Um, it sold for $39 on Mercari. And another tie, Pluffies. I always pick up Pluffies. This is one of the ones that do better than some of the others. This is Shearly the Lamb. It sold for $48 on Mercari. And I have two Poshmark to sh share with you. Cabbage Patch Kids Doll. Um, I think I took an offer on this one. That's why it's only $10. But even when you sell something on Mercari, I mean on Posh for $10, you still make $7.05 profit, which on a doll that I probably have less than a dollar in, I'm okay with that. I'm going to get a lot more listed on these other platforms. And then this is Nat and Jules with Dim Daco, um, a shaggy dog, 8 inch from 2013. It sold for $22. Not even clothes on Posh. I started putting a whole lot of plush on there. All right, and then eBay. All right, this I picked up at a recent um, estate sale. Um, all the mugs were a dollar. Some of them I got in their original boxes. Um, this is the same one where I bought all those coloring books was an amazing estate sale. Um, these, I took a best offer of $10 for this mug. And then this was a glass pear ornament. Not the greatest picture, to be honest. Um, and I guess I could, my uh, little $12 there kind of moved after I'd um, written it on there. But it was a glass ornament, four inches. A lot of these I only pay like 50 cents at estate sales on half price sale or in box lots. Um, so I, I love listing Christmas ornaments all year long. All right, these are two um, hand puppets that I sold. I actually have sisters also. Um, these are Berenstain Bears. They were just those like glove, just cloth hand puppets from 1988. 
I sold the two of them for $22.60. This is from my always giving high bid estate sale that I won now a, over a year ago. Um, this was just a peanut M&M's just was like a zipper um, wallet sold for $26.95. I just threw a big price on there. Sometimes um, I just don't know where to go. So a lot of times it'll be $29.95 or $39.95 um, and then see, you know, what happens. This um, was in the baskets that I bought from uh, Kim. So thank you. That I'm still listing that stuff and still selling quite a bit of it. This is Heartline M&M Bear um, from 1987. It did still have it, all of its little stickers and tags and um, it sold for $22.45. This was from the estate sale um, that we showed recently, the same one with the coloring books. Um, we bought two or three boxes of um, HO scale train accessories, no trains. Um, this was a Bachman Dual Crossing Gates um, kit. I had two of them. I have sold both of them already. This one sold for $15. This is Commonwealth from 1995. Cute brown bear, eight inch, kind of small. Um, sold for $17.95. Thai Pillow Pals. Love the Pillow Pals, love the Pluffies. This is from 1994. It sold for best offer of $10. It did have its original paper tag, but there was writing inside. Always check the inside because sometimes people like to write their name on the insides of these tags. And, you know, it's important that a collector who's purchasing this know that if it's been written on or not. All right, I had a comment in one of my latest videos that says a lot of the things that I'm selling, I'm only making three or four dollars on it. And that is not correct. Um, if I sell something for ten dollars, which this is the breakdown of the Thai Pillow Pal that I just showed you. I sold that item for ten dollars and I charged five dollars and seventy five cents shipping and eBay collected this sales tax of $1.14. So I made $16.89 on this order. Then eBay took their fees. $1.14 back for the sales tax. Transaction fee of $2.12. Shipping label was $4.59. And then the ad, because I do have um, promoted listings set up at um, suggested capped at 10%, but I also have a plus 2% on those that haven't reached the cap yet. So mostly things that I am selling, I am selling almost at the like nine to 10% and I'm doing well with that. So I'm not gonna change it. But yes, I hate that I'm giving so many more fees to eBay, but my stuff is selling. So on that $10 sale, I made $7.35. I probably have 50 cents or a dollar in the plush because plush is very cheap for me um, and I'm okay with that. Do I, uh, you know, I do sell a lot in that price range in the eight to $12, but I do sell a whole lot for more. So no, I don't make $3 on a $10 sale. Maybe they thought I'd do free shipping and yeah, then I would only be making a couple of bucks, but I do not offer free shipping. I charge a flat rate for all first class packages and then I have calculated for anything over a pound. I hope that explains it. I'm going to be doing a video, hope maybe today or tomorrow, depending on how my voice holds up, but um, on what I made for last year. And I'll be explaining, you know, how many things I sold in that, you know, under $10 range. All right, trolls. Um, these were from that high bid estate sale that I won. Um, I just went ahead and put some of these hodgepodge. I think all of these had something wrong with them. So, you know, all the hair has wear. They have fading. They needed um, detail cleaning, just stuff like that. Um, still sold for $22.75. Gorham Ariana plates. 
it's funny I told you just in the last couple of what solds we sold a bunch of this when we first listed it last probably earlier in the summer and then went forever and not selling the la the other parts of it and then all of a sudden now I've sold mugs I've sold plates I've sold a serving dish um, but I did sell two plates for sixteen dollars and ten cents all right funny feet green dinosaur plush these come in a variety of sizes this is the smaller version it's only eight inches tall there is a larger one and their feet are big they're called funny feet though um, this one sold for ten dollars green dragon plush this is from Stephen Smith um, this sold for twelve dollars elf Christmas figure Again, this was in a box lot of the Christmas stuff that I picked up all that nice vintage Christmassy stuff um, he had like a burlap his burlap clothes and hat did have a made in Japan sticker on him sold for $21.33 he's only like six inches tall I love vintage Christmas now this is a viewer sale so thank you so much Anna she said that her grandson loved to walk through the house singing happy birthday and this is a first in Maine bear that um, did sing happy you know played the happy birthday musical when it squeezed so it sold for eleven dollars and sixty six cents bad buy bad buy sometimes I think what happened was I bought a lot of Nintendo DS you know it had the game system and end up the game system didn't work none of these games were worth a whole lot um, but they've been listed for years years and finally sold eleven dollars and sixty six cents for um, the three games in a case and then a loose game department 56 this was also in that train lot that I was showing the the HO scale stuff there were um, some Christmas around the world and some department 56 stuff down in the boxes um, it's selling very quickly these are railroad crossing signs that were battery operated didn't look like they'd ever been removed from the box um, sold for $13.45 very quickly this was a multi order um, this person bought it's kind of a hodgepodge uh, dollhouse items loving family um, Kanga from Winnie the Pooh a jelly cat rabbit and a Coles care Snoopy she spent forty five dollars and seventy three cents on the four items and then I did she didn't wait for me to do a combined invoice um, so I did give her a refund on the difference in shipping Aurora destination nation I picked them up they don't tend to sell for much more than my bread and butter though this was a large stingray manta ray I use both the words um, sold for eleven dollars and sixty six cents Lee's women's jeans we sell tons of them we get them very cheaply a lot of times we get them at a thrift store like a fill a bag um, but you know if we're gonna pick them up at yard sales they're usually about a dollar um, this pair sold for fourteen dollars and eleven cents Boyd's I don't pick them up very often unless it's the little uh, three and a half to four inch um, messenger bears the shirt the bears with the sweatshirts on definitely keep your eyes out for them um, but I think I had bought a box lot of Boyd's stuff very cheaply so this was a part of that it sold for ten dollars and seventy five cents his name was Franklin Bearsley this is probably one of like the first 20 things I ever listed that was clothing items we just started selling clothing items last year just kind of trying to expand into other categories to you know help when sales are low in one area you know I'd have things in others um, probably not something that we continue to pick up um, just we tend to do better with jeans and I think that's where we're gonna focus but we do have quite a bit of old stuff that hasn't been listed yet so I'm sure there'll be more shirts listed this was Izod saltwater men's long sleeve shirt still for twelve dollars and sixty eight cents more of the HO scale train stuff this is a Bachman remote control train switch 
Um, I had the left hand and the right hand switch. I ended up having three sets of them. I've already sold all three of them. This one sold for $26.95. And then the same time, I sold another set for $24. Jelly Cat, this was not in good condition. Um, no whiskers, just a gray. Um, Tabby Cat, still sold for $17.95. Aurora Bengal Tiger. 7 inches. It sold for $11.66. Spark Create Imagine. Love that brand, especially the dogs. Um, the dog that looks like this, that's um, the black and brown, it's supposed to look like a Rottweiler. It does the best for me, but this was just a little cute gray and white one. Sold for $13.45. Hardy Boys um, gift set, paperback been listed forever. I think when I first quit um, working like 10 years ago to go back to doing eBay full-time, um, I, I was going to the Goodwill bins a lot, like two and three times a week, trying to build up my inventory. Um, and that's, I bought that way back then, way back then. Finally sold. It's been funny. I have sold a lot of old, old stuff this month. A lot. It's just been odd, and it's, it'll be like, hmm, another thing, hmm, another thing. Um, sold for $11, best offer. Gons, Webkins, just two dogs, no codes. I just decided to put them together. I have a bunch of them that I need to get to. Um, these two sold for $11.66. Gur Animals. Now, this is just a little five and a half inch plush. Um, but it's one of the ones that does a little bit better for me. Um, it's from 2014, just a little yellow duck with the green polka dot body. It sold for $13.45. Bear Trap Sandals, these sold on eBay for $17.95. The crazy thing is, is I had back to back within one minute, the person, the same person bought them on eBay and on Poshmark. One minute, the messages were separated. So, of course, I had to go into Poshmark and cancel it. But I'm not understanding why would somebody buy a pair of shoes back-to-back -back on eBay and Poshmark at, at identical times. This is a Kenyo um, cassette rewinder from 1993. It did work. Sold for $12, best offer. I'm pretty sure we paid like 50 cents or a dollar at an estate sale for it. And then ceramic Raggedy Ann Christmas ornament. Um, again, I think it was in all of that vintage Christmas stuff that I picked up. So I have pennies in it. Sold for $8 after Christmas. All right, a couple of the bigger orders on eBay. Kamar. I have talked about this brand before. For some reason, anything I find that's Kamar sells very quickly for really good money. This is a six inch dog plush from 1968. At first when I, I got it with some other plush from my little favorite little estate sale I go to, um, but it was with some Dakin Dream Pets. And at first that's what I thought it was till I saw the tag. Listed it high. $35.95 it sold for. Now this is, I don't remember where I picked this up, probably an estate sale, but it was a Nissan vacuum flask, black and silver, unbreakable bottle, like a, I guess, thermos type thing. Listed it high, um, sold for $64.76, and it was um, an international sale. I want to say it was going to like Kazakhstan or something like that because it was like KZ but it's through the new eBay international shipping so you know I, I don't I let them determine where all my stuff's going now I just just go with the flow and I have done very well I think I swear it feels like every day I have something shipping international now that I'm into that new program and I've had zero issues other than time away it did an update you know, my extended handling did not update. All right, and then my best sell, Lego. Mini figures. I bought all of those um, Legos 
at the Savers in Cincinnati. Um, divided them all up into small lots. I decided to put all these classic spacemen together. Listed it high. Kept getting tons of lowball offers, of course. And finally got somebody sent me an offer for $70, which I went ahead and accepted. So, nice sale. But the best sale was Etsy. Love Etsy, y'all. And it's this, Eden, of course. ABC Bear. Um, when I picked it up, it was very discolored. And even after washing it, I think I ended up washing it twice. It still had some faint yellowing on the body, which I showed in the pictures. Still, it sold for $125.95. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to try and get a second video done and I need to get some hauls done. But hopefully I'm on the other side of this. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I have never been so sick for so long in my life. I can't, I can't remember a time when I was sick this long. But, you know, hopefully my immunities are, and I'm going to be good to go for the rest of the year. But I think, let's see. Sorry, Robert, I'm just kind of rambling. Make sure you tune in. Tuesday night for the Nurse Flipper. We'll be on there. It's going to be fun. All right. Bye.